Cher. Yes. Oh. Yeah, it's very Cher. I love it. <laughs> I love it too. And you know me, I love just a simple long hair and a skinny silhouette and a big bell bottom. I yeah. Mean, like the, the whole thing. Love it. I want it in every color. I would have probably chosen to wear a lot more jewelry. Something that, with a little bit more embellishment to it. I realized yep. that, the, that the goal was to, to give this sort of simple silhouette, but I, I kind of wanted more baubles. Maybe even some embellishment on the top part of the little coverlet. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe something along the bottom of the pants. Sure, sure, sure. Some applique. And more, more dangly. Yeah. Stuff. I love it. I give it a two. I give it a two as well. Yes. Next Ew. girl. Yes. Tennis couture. I love it. I love that the skirt matches the top. Yeah. The top matches the visor. I'm sure her pussy is the same color. Ooh. I like it. It gives me like hair. 90s rave, 90, like late 90s, maybe yeah. even early 2000s. It gives me like Patricia Field around that time or Red Balls on Fire here. And it's just these stores that sold these particular types of plasticky, ravey. Love it. That's what I mean. Love it. I love it. I get yeah. this one a two. It's a two. Mm. I love it. Tate. All right, next young lady. Ooh, why isn't she a peach dream? A sunset on skates. I love it. I think there's something very fantasy about it. I can see her sort of like dancing through and skating through like a laser show. I don't think anyone else has really touched on that. So I'm gonna give this one a two. I give it a two. Mm -hmm. I think the hair looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that in the movement, that's beautiful. Yeah. And she looks like she knows what she's doing. Next we have Naomi Smalls. And she is wearing your outfit. Yes. <laughs> is that right? Did yeah. I say, how did I know that? I don't know. That I is never... the finale look from season two. <laughs> I'm going to toot this look because I've seen it before and I, I think it's a beautiful look. And, and I knew exactly who made that outfit and I love it. So it does get a toot. But I am very disappointed. I mean, it's already been seen. It's like. You know. So it would have been fun to use it in a music video. But it's not like there's four queens on the main stage in the same fucking look. Oh my god, you're so right. The only thing that's kind of throwing me off a little bit is the discoloration of the legs and the upper body. I wish the bottom was a little more of that off grayish white color. Mm -hmm. But the makeup is amazing. It's amazing. It's all fleek. Yes. It's on fleek. Do people still say on fleek? Or is I don't that kind of tired now? It was tired a long time ago. I know. I'm sorry I said it, world. I'll never do it again. I think she looks beautiful. I love this outfit. I give it a toot. All the way. Toot! Yes. But that bitch padded. She did pad. Bravo. Look at you, Naomi Smalls, with some booty. Her, I mean, her booty's beautiful anyway, but... But look at that. Yeah, it all looks good. That's a stank booty weather. Mm, horrible. The Pride Float. The Pride Float, which is one of the ones I've always envied. I love this challenge. And so. that was season four. Yeah, I wonder if she was excited to do it because this would have been so fun to do. Let's get a closer look at it. I don't know what to say about this because I think if it were my Pride Float and I had this challenge, I probably would have kicked it up a little bit more. Yeah, like I see the, the Pride flag pole. Uh-huh. But then like this cascading blue sequin fabric, like is it supposed to be the wall? Is it ocean? Like, is it a wave coming up? And was it right. supposed to scream pride or was it supposed to scream her? I would like to boat this, but I'm going to toot it. <laughs> Get in, I said I'm funny. I give it a boot. Toot it. I give it a boot. All right, our next look. Oh, okay. I toot this. Love I, it. This needs no explanation. We know the theme is Oz, and you know exactly who that person is or that character, and that is a scarecrow. <laughs> and the look is fabulous. My only complaint, the shoes. Yeah, the shoe, I, I would have maybe put a piece of fabric over exactly, the, the, like the a, clear part. Mm -hmm. And I love the floofiness of the skirt. Mm -hmm. The collar, yep. that's really cute. Oh, adorable. Now, the makeover. This is the first girl that looks like she's been made over. She's got on lashes, mm -hmm. she's got on contour, she's got on highlight, but that costume is fucking cute. I may, I, I, I is it too? I'm, I'm mind blown. I really love it. Love too. Yes. Okay, next we have this girl. Another kimono. Hmm. This one is a little more, it, to me it's more of a robe, not really a kimono. <sighs> I don't know. See, I actually like this robe. This robe is something that I would probably wear if a date were coming over or if I was about to get plowed at home. And I would normally toot it, but now I'm getting really fed up. This is a third kimono piece that's showing up on a Madonna themed runway. 
Why? Now, if you would have, if you were in the back room and you saw two people already wearing a kimono, wouldn't you change it up like immediately? Let's talk about the uh, mid to late 90s and how Madonna was really just walking around showing off everything. Remember the sex book? Oh, I would have taken this book. all off, walked out there naked. Oh my God, and have like an erotica look with a short blonde yeah. wig and a mask over the eye. And, and just crop. been like, this is my Madonna look. Oh Here's my, my fucking pussy and my titties. This is, this is ridiculous to me. It's like, ugh. All right, let's keep going. I give it a boot. Next up. Ooh. Body, a skinny-licious, gorgeous legs. legs for days. If she like look over her shoulder, she could smell her own butthole. That's <laughs> how long them legs are. <laughs> she just like, how my ass stink. That's how long her legs are. But her shit don't stink in this. This mm, looks No, no, no. I she don't even shit in this it. dress. She can't, she, this look is sickening. She's sexy. It's very simple. But I like but it. But it's simple with a little bit of that sophistication that just gives it enough like, bitch. Now, waist. those yeah. shoes, th th those are ankle straps, bitch. Yeah, there's a lot those of them. Those are ankle, ankle straps. Strap. But that, she's got like the length of like three legs. She's got like 10 ankles stacked up. Yeah. Before so it she, reaches and uh, So all 10 of those ankle straps are on one ankle, and then there's like 30 other ankles after it. Hot goddamn, these are the most beautiful legs, and she is featuring it, and she looks thickening. The hair is beautiful. Yes, God. The dress is beautiful. Mm-hmm. Sexy. It's beautiful. Two. Oh, All next right. up, Naomi Smalls. Naomi Smalls. It's hysterical. I think she looks adorable. Although she looks like a really emaciated baby. But I think she looks great. I think it's a baby challenge, so go for baby. There's a diaper there. She I love is, the little curl coming out. This is cute. That's a two. She, yeah. Two. She gets a two. She gets a two. Next, we have Naomi Smalls. Naomi Smalls. She looks Beautiful. Yeah. Very, very maternal. And isn't it crazy? This bitch is wearing something all the way up her neck. Mm. Like she said, okay, this is mom. Yeah. Let's cover Modesty. Up. Yes. I love this look. I see it as a, it looks like an editorial to me. So I'm going to give it a two. Two. All the way. Two. Mm -hmm. Those babies should have been live though. But I guess they're hard to pack that way. Umbilical cord is still <laughs> connected. Naomi Smalls. <gasps> Ooh. That oh, is amazing. I love it. I'm, that's awesome. She looks like a star is bursting out of her yeah. body. It almost looks like a bunch of paper airplanes have all like gone to this beacon and just mm. created this look. Wow. It's fierce. It really is fierce. I love it. So this kind of reminds me a little bit of the Scarecrow. Yeah. With the poofy, flouncy mm -hmm. skirt. This is an amazing piece. It looks amazing, but people like us who like to pull things apart will notice that this shape was once around before. With that said, two, two, yes. <laughs> That was Pia. Next up, Naomi Smalls, one of, one of the top three of RuPaul's Drag Race season eight. And another person doing green or blue. Yes. Uh, but this, she is in green, a green trash bag. I love latex. I'm a fan of latex, and I know you are too. Mm -hmm. This isn't my favorite look. Because it is such a strong color and texture of the dress, I feel like the hair starts to make it look unattractive. Is that a nice word? She's beautiful. You're beautiful. This wig is not working with the dress. I don't like it. You liked it. It's all good. When you do red hair that's that bright with a green that's bright, it tends to look costumey. I feel like this maybe overwhelms her a little bit. It's a boot. It's a boot. Next, we have the top three in their Final looks. These are the crowning looks. Yes. And none of them look like they wore hair to put a crown on. I always wear a wig that is um, befitting a crown. I just... You just haven't gotten it. Never have gotten one. Each of these girls has something that I kind of like clue right into. When we're looking at Bob, I, I, I am a fan of that kind of hair. I think mm -hmm. that hair looks really pretty on her. I love seeing her in fuller hair. As I move down to Kim Chi, she has my favorite makeup. I feel like it looks really clean and it's a little pulled back for her. And then when I look at Naomi, she has my favorite outfit. I think that's stellar top three. Three twos. All the way. All the way. Six twos. 